Texas. This is kind of like my backyard. But I have a mind of I don't go playing in my backyard. I might figure out a way to haul ass back out of here. We're at the corner of South First and William Cannon. When I was a little boy back in the 60s growing up down here, this used to be nothing but woods. You could come out here and ride horses and shoot your gun and not get in no trouble. I sure didn't miss the old woods and everything. How you doing, Jack? Melons, melons, melons. We selling melons. How long do you think it's to take selling watermelons? About a week. If I can get 100 watermelons at $10 pop, that's $1,000. This is going to be a holiday weekend when this kicks off. Right before it kicks off in these restaurants are all into these fancy salads and fruits and shit like that. These people in the mountains, man, I can drive around like an old gypsy up and down the mountains road and sell produce. You know, we'll make a little money. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna get your 600 back off the top. I'll go five on you. Ouch. Man, shit, this, this is know, time to rough, I man. Know. How about an even six? Come on. I can do it. Okay. Hey, I bring fruit to the town. <laughs> <laughs> I brought fruits. <laughs> We're on our way to Montana this time next week. Hey. Come on, Seth. I got a job waiting for me. I'm going to be working at the old Virginia City Hotel a night manager from 11 to 7. Figure I can make a couple hundred extra dollars on the way up there selling some watermelons. I'm just an entrepreneur. Had an idea. See you in my town. You gotta look at what's happened in the world. The whole world is getting pissed at the United States and it's like a red dawn. You know, y'all seen Red Dawn, man, you know. If any of my friends are alive and they know where I'm at, they ain't got to call. All they got to do is load up. We and... just got to come. <laughs> How many miles is that? Uh, about 2,000 miles. How many days is that? Three days, two nights. You got to pick what's going to travel well. Right. What's going to get you the most money. Right. And what's going to so make for... the people happy. Right. The melon is the heart is the Texas. Heart is Texas. Is I'm getting them right out of the valley. Do you sleep with the melon? If I have to. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to my sister. I got some stuff in her storage shed and I'm gonna gather those up, put them in my truck. Smile! Look at here! So I got enough room to pack my bags, all my clothes, and suitcases and I pile it all up and strap it down. Sassy rides on top of everybody else. <laughs> I'm his youngest sister. I'm the baby. I'm here to support him in anything he does. Just like he's here to support me. All I'm worried about now is getting the hell out of here. I'm on my way out of here with, with a good attitude. And that's going to be the fun part about getting up here and seeing all my ladies that I've met. I'm trying to save as much money as I can, but i got to spend a little bit for a little bit of pot, and that's about it. Once I get past Denver, the heat will be gone and it'll be in a cooler climate. My produce will stay fresh until I get to where I'm going and start selling it. The fuel money is what you're trying to make. All the rest of it's making money. How you doing, sir? I live in Montana. Montana. Montana, state of Montana. And I want to buy some more uh, watermelons to take back. What would be your bottom price? About 
I'll take 80. 80. I'll be playing. I got a lot of fruit. <laughs> if not nails, I'll eat watermelons because I've ate watermelons before until I puke. We're on our way to Montana, baby. Packing up our things, moving to another town. We're headed to a place with no familiar faces around. I've been married five times before I was 33. My best one would be my third wife. She's a Potawatomi girl out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. I come in sick one night from work and I was having a fever and all the thing. And she's supposed to come over and comfort me and she didn't. She ended up in my roommate's bedroom and I caught him. So I got rid of her ass and went on down the road and got to meet somebody else. I wasn't real close to my dad. My mama died in 86, two weeks after my 33rd birthday. And when the space shuttle blew up, January 28th of 1986, I buried my mama that afternoon. She was my rock of Gibraltar. I miss her. Yogi, hey, 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 boo boo. What do you think about the picnic? Yeah. Let's go get a picnic basket. <laughs> I grew up in God's country from Texas. This is God's back door. He opened the fucking door from the pearly gates and you're in his backyard. You just rejuvenate your mind when you can think instead of all this lights and honking and sirens and ram bustle of a major city. I'm living my dream, and my dream was that I was gonna live on a wild west town when I was older and then I found one, and by God, it's working out. It feels good. We gotta get to selling melons. Ain't got no more money. Here we go. These are some good sweet melons. No, so, I, I think I'll pass on this. Alrighty. Hey, you kids want to buy a watermelon? We got a good one to sell. Dang. They're really good melons. Texas melon, huh? Eight dollars a pop. Pick me out a good one. Right. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good work. Yeah, enjoy yourself. Yeah. Cha to my friends John and Lisa. We're gonna stay in their travel trailer. I'm gonna put my stuff in here. My friend Sonny put my stuff in here. And we're gonna hang out here a couple days. Finally go. Well, this is where I'm gonna hang out for a while. So this is gonna be like my house for, for a while. We met at a yard sale. <laughs> yeah, that, we, I had a yard sale and he come by and the kids. I bought some stuff. Yeah. Come here, Mom. My dog smells better than me, man. We're at Dan's house. The man had hired me to do the night security and night manager at the hotel. We're gonna go talk to him. How you doing, buddy? Yes, how you doing? Hey, I'll meet you back. Come to check in with you and let you know I'm in town to get ready to go down there and go to work for you, so. Well, I hadn't heard from you or anything, so I am not real sure yeah. that uh, I'm gonna need you down there now. Oh. But, yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, I sure was looking for it because I didn't have a place to stay or nothing. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, okay. And then uh, I 
people had been complaining because they, uh, women, uh, they said you should scare the women, some of them. I was told that, and then, well, like I said, I had not from it. Right. You know, I don't know what's going on because I haven't seen nobody on uh -huh. for the last four months. If this serves a problem with that, yeah. you need to take care of it. I never had no problem with nobody anyway, because I'm harmless. Hmm. But if something comes up, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah, sure will. It hurts my feelings that I hear things like that. I guess it's because I'm so friendly. You know, I'm a hugger. It's not a sexual thing or nothing like that. It's a friendship. You know, I'm a good man. I'm honest, man. I'm just me. I'm just me. I don't know whether the shit piss or fall back in it. We'll go by and see you girls. This is Elizabeth. This is Cindy. You gotta at least warn us before you come around. No, we, no, no, I don't get that. <laughs> no, you're not uh oh, I'm not much better. How are you? Eight How are you? Uh, fine as one. I mean, the day before I left, I talked to him. He said, not a problem. But somebody's telling me that I'm just too lovey dovey. That's what he told me. And I don't feel like I was being inappropriate or nothing there. It's just a southern thing. We all hug. We hug too. We hug everybody. We're going to go shopping. You want to go shopping? Every time we need something, it shows up at the dump. <laughs> Everything has shown up at the dump that we need. We take our old stuff. Back. Except for men, they don't show up at the dump. They got to come here and learn how to be a real man. <laughs> get rid of the bullshit, get their hands in the earth, learn how to build and fix. But so far, the people that we've encountered that need that don't want it. They want to stay in their miserable existences. I'm right now in my little sanctuary in place. Well, you don't hear nothing but the wind, and I don't worry about nothing. Shit, I back up here and set a tarp up here on the back of my truck and just camp out. I'm in a positive place, look at this.